Yeah, we talked to many people who know knew Joanne Watson, and they were there as she instituted change, instrumental in many areas, like on Livernois, making a situation where black community business folks can have better investments and a better chance at owning a business and owning homes. And many across the city, they're just in mourning tonight. Joanne and I grew up together. Uh, we went to school together. Uh, she's, she's my sister, and uh, we've been together since the fourth grade. A giant of Detroit activism, the Reverend Dr. Wendell Anthony, remembering another leadership giant in the city, former Detroit City Council member Dr. Joanne Watson, who died Monday at age 72. The pastor, radio personality, and first woman to head the Detroit chapter of the NAACP is being remembered for her lifetime of community service. The community has lost a great spirit, a great uh, fighter for freedom and justice and fairness. Women have lost a great champion. Black folk and people of color have lost somebody that spoke truth to power no matter who it was, where it was, what it was, or when it was. That's Joanne Watson. One of her most tireless efforts was working on reparations for black Detroiters. She was part of the city's first ever task force meeting on reparations this past April. Dr. Watson, at the last 40 years, talked about reparations for the city of Detroit, for black folks from Black Bottom and in all the areas where black people was removed from their homes. In, in the name of urban renewal. Adolph Mongo ran Watson's first campaign for city council back in 2003. Nobody, nobody gave us a chance to beat Gil Hill. Gil Hill had 89% name recognition. We believed that we can win and we won because she was there out in the community and, you know, people gravitated towards her. Uh, Watson also worked for the late Congressman John Conyers on a variety of issues at the federal level before her election to council. Her former colleague, Monica Conyers, shares some thoughts by phone. Her, as well as with Kwame Kenyatta, Bob Rose Collins, Martha Reed, uh, Ken Cogro, Sheila, just all of us, including me, we were just did very good work on the city council, and she served her constituency very well in this. I'm just saddened right now of her passing, and the community will miss her. Now, the Reparations Committee was just beginning its work back in April when we covered that first ever city meeting. And many like Watson, they were so excited to see where that work would go. Now, no cause of death was given just yet. Funeral arrangements have not been announced. Reporting live, Dave Kinchin, Fox 2 News. And she'll be fondly by, remembered by so many. You know, we see so much progress in the city. All of those things went through the city council when Watson was a councilwoman. She was unapologetic about putting Detroiters and their neighborhoods first, even before a popular initiative or a development. People always came first to Joanne Watson. Yeah, that's right. And uh, Dr. Anthony said, you know, she could not be bought and paid for. She was her own person and people lined up around her. They gravitated towards her because of that point. No doubt about it.